are you ready to hang with your digital besties? What Day Is It? is a podcast covering every girl problem, life struggle, and biz reality out there. So pour yourself a glass of wine and get ready to laugh, relate, and celebrate not having it all together. I just walked in and everybody was in the house and then I saw Jackie and her hair was all soaked in paint and everything and I just immediately started hitting on her and there's people in the shower upstairs and then one of the things I said was we could go shower together you know save some water all right friendships what are you gonna give him shit about I was mic? just gonna tell him not to touch the bottom of the oh, yeah. mic don't touch the bottom of the mic <laughs> our okay. guest is already screwing it up I am Bailey Stanworth, the founder of Play Digital and State of Grace, and we're recording at Jackie's house today. Yeah, we switched it up. We are we introducing ourselves like we our normal? Do, yeah. I guess because we're it's not a bonus episode, I, but it could be somebody's first episode. Okay, friendships. I'm the influencer lead for Play Digital, Jackie Rye. I was like, Olympic are you going to say your name? Either. <laughs> And, and this is what day is it this is what Your day is it podcast digital version of happy hour and we have a guest on today that a lot of you guys probably uh, feel like you know jackie's roommate <laughs> it's harvey <laughs> it's harvey guys <laughs> it's jordan my boyfriend <laughs> it's jordan <laughs> what so a good way to introduce say hello him. thanks for having me <laughs> how happy are you this is all right here? Did your voice just crack? We'll see how it goes. It might your crack. voice just crack? Maybe. Okay, Jordan's a little bit nervous, but... Yeah, your mic is the trash mic. Jordan's a little bit nervous, <laughs> friendships. Um, Honestly, I'm kind of a little bit nervous because I never podcast in front of him. I've podcasted in front of my family, but I don't really care about that. But this is the first time in front of him. Why? So, what does it matter? I don't know. Anyways, okay, now... You're I'm, sitting now, up very erect. Now I'm really nervous. <laughs> It's coffee. She's not making eye contact now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Jordan, let's just kick it off. Tell us the most embarrassing story of Jackie. Oh, my God. Man. Now I wish I looked at, like, the questions. <laughs> <laughs> we said, do you want to be prepped? And he was like, nah, it's fine. Um, so first it's question and doesn't even have an answer. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Whenever she tries to dance, it's kind of bad. <laughs> this is true <laughs> you guys are so mean you don't know how to dance i feel like so this is my theory is it is my mic okay mm -hmm. okay i think that jordan can't dance so whenever he tries to dance with me i get really <laughs> i'm sorry jordan can bust a move yeah i break it Do down you not remember bailey's wedding which we actually have this on the notes it's what we want because talk we about. when we did our igtv for truth or drink we all were like how did jordan do this so i you cannot oh, say the he can't dance that's different. That Jordan does turn around too. Jordan does. You know what? I'm just gonna share the video of you <laughs> dancing at Bailey's wedding on our stories for the friendships and in the Facebook group, and you guys will be able to see. Jordan does like a little boogie, like a, a like a boogie, like a white dad. First off, it's a boogie. Yeah, not a boogie. <laughs> boogie something in your nose. Are you really surprised at this point? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a, wait, what is it? A boogie. boogie? A boogie. A Ta boogie. Talking about the, wait, what? <laughs> talking about the rapper? No, <laughs> we're not talking about the rapper. I don't even know how to say it oh now. My I'm God, we're all on such anyway, pages. Jordan does a little, like, a shimmy. And then, I don't know, I'll post it on the stories for you guys. It's, we'll it's do a poll. the exact same thing that Bailey's dad does. But I know, and do you think Bailey's dad can really, yeah, he can. Yeah, dance. Al can break it down. But they were, like, the two of them were the only two on the dance floor at one point just doing this boogie. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Sorry, I boogie. I can't get down with Jordan when we're dancing. Just for the record, I went to the club on the weekend. I don't think I did that once. <laughs> so, Did you dance? Yeah, a little bit. Maybe. Guys, Jordan never goes to the club, but he's just been on a rampage what do you, the last one few months. One time. The last few months, you've gone quite a bit. Oh, do we need to have some couples therapy name, right now? Name the last time before the weekend. I don't know off the top of my head. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> 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 all right can you turn it we're changing off? this from what day is it to like a couple's <laughs> counselor i'm gonna charge you guys by the hour am i, I right like, do you have good advice for couples oh <laughs> harsh <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be uh, <laughs> that was really mean i'm sorry <laughs> Bailey's 
looking at me really I'm gonna shook. fire her ass. <laughs> I have a recent embarrassing thing that she did. Please I'll lay them all out now. She does stuff like this a lot. We were just at the dog park, and then when it came to time to go, we were leaving. And it was like oh. two thirty in the afternoon, bright sunny day, and Jackie's like, "Good night, everybody." <laughs> I said, "Have a good night." I said, "Have a good night" to the people we were chatting with, and it was sunny, hot, beautiful day. And Jordan just laughed his ass off at me. I do that a lot because I'm so used to saying "Have a good night." Not that is a Jackieism for sure. <laughs> Jackieism. That's a new thing. It's like a a boogie. <laughs> that's a check wikipedia yeah enema <laughs> enema enema <laughs> what other things there's so many know, the list goes on and on. we should start a jackie dictionary <laughs> i'm gonna leave that to you <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know what's in it probably a lot more sounds like a waste of my time <laughs> yeah. anyways oh my god jordan okay. introduce yourself i'm just jackie's boyfriend that's the best thing. So that's your identity that's the best thing about You're me so much more than that i don't do much <laughs> I am a uh, I'm a father of one. His name's <laughs> Harvey. Harvey. Yeah, have you heard that Jackie wants you to be a father of two? Like dog? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could go either way. <laughs> oh my god. She does have a baby of, of dog. Session. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of dog. dog. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like something from Game of Thrones. Of dog. Of dog. Yeah, she we've talked about it, but upstairs says no. Yeah. So, our landlord can't happen. said no we'll work on that one i really really feel like harvey's lonely i really want to get him another dog okay well doesn't sound like it's optimistic for you i asked my landlord yesterday and also she, she laughed and said you wish and then i was like <laughs> just kidding that's kind of how it started though before we even True. had a dog just wait till she's a child though like you guys have had the dog a month she's gonna mm. pop out a baby and be like it's lonely 100 <laughs> percent. it's been like two months with this little guy oh he's so cute but yeah i don't well it's different with a baby well like i don't know because i haven't had a baby but you it has to be with you at all times you know what i mean yeah and your vagina will probably still be hurting after two months so. yeah anyways <laughs> carry on <laughs> i'm not ready for a baby yet but if i had the money and finances i would have kids now 100 percent. my mom was like a year older than me now when she had my sister i think times were very different i know i'm kind of glad I don't think I'll have kids till I'm 30, though. It's so expensive. So expensive. I can barely take, like, mortgage. Then Jordan, you gotta, like, honestly, I just think of the cost of diapers. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, and that's everything so else. much money that I could be spending at Sephora. I could be buying You're wine. I could be buying <laughs> shoes. So. You're a savage. <laughs> Sephora <laughs> baby diapers. I'm just aware <laughs> <laughs> that I am not responsible enough for a child. I feel like me and Jordan go through waves of wanting to actually have a baby. Like I just know it's not possible right now. No, it's not possible. But when our, our landlord upstairs, they have a uh, under one year old. I think it's almost one. I think that you guys shouldn't have a baby until you actually like stop cooking your Instapot on the floor. You know what? Do you see hey. it on the floor? <laughs> no, but this is just... We have life. to, okay? There's no other option. <laughs> our counter space is very like, small. I feel like once you um, upgrade from that, then maybe you'll be ready 100%. for a baby. <laughs> 100%. But sometimes the landlord's baby upstairs will grab Jordan's finger and then he'll be like... <gasps> <laughs> and I'm like from my so magical. Friend. That's the cute moment. <laughs> the cute moment. Wait till it's shitting on you. Hey, Jordan, <laughs> can you introduce yourself a little bit more? Because you're not just my boyfriend. You're you're yourself. <laughs> you're like, yourself. what are some things you like to do? I like anime a lot. Yeah. Uh. You like League of Legends? Yeah. Jackie says I'm kind of a nerd, and I feel that. But I mean, I don't look like one, and I don't really <laughs> act like one either, other than. <laughs> The fact that I play a lot of video Closet games. Closet nerd. You know what, though? I don't think anime is a nerd thing. I think I, a nerd thing. I think the League of Legends and the way you game on your laptop for hours on end makes you a nerd. <laughs> I don't know what any of these things are. I didn't know what League of Legends was until he played it, but it's like one of those games where you move your mouse. And it's what... um, Like Fortnite? No. Not at all. Fortnite's... <laughs> I took offense to the only that. game <laughs> name I know. Fortnite is the Nintendo. Everyone <laughs> plays Fortnite. Not everyone plays League of Legends. A lot of people do. A lot of dirty people do. <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't talk about about and us then, like that. Okay. Also, Jordan, you play hockey or every now and then. Yeah, not so much anymore. It's expensive these days. I love how you introduce him. Yeah, keep going. And you We're have a juice good. obsession. Oh my god! Come on. You do? <laughs> no. Yes, you do. When's the last time I had juice? If you had a liter. What did I just get out of the fridge? Because we have no juice. 
he is water because i could no make juice, juice. We water have on a f- coaster <laughs> <laughs> just a side note quickly here bailey got some mike's hard lemonades from a photo shoot she helped with and they just left them with her and she gave me a whole flat and i was like there's no way i'll drink these i don't drink mike's hard they're way too sweet and taste like a hangover sorry mike's hard lemonade if you're <laughs> not listening. a sponsor <laughs> but then i was like but jordan will drink them 100 percent. i bring them home the whole flat i'm like look what bailey brought you and he's like oh i'm trying to quit sugar drinks they An were gone later. within <laughs> within like seven days yeah an hour later i got a snapchat (laughs) i know i stopped putting sugar in my coffee huge step huge step baby steps there you go and it was like three packets just in a little jordan crushes a two liter thing of orange juice or pink lemonade in like two days because some of those things are so good like that's like you know the term like you got the juice right <laughs> like it's because when somebody's got juice in their fridge like it's gone like Are that you like, sure? yeah it's because you have it for a little Bailey bit doesn't know the term okay and then like you know like you got sauce you've seen the video of the be- guy in best buy or whatever like no h- how long does sauce stay in your fridge for not long sauce yeah sauce stays I'm, in your fridge forever i'm, yeah, thinking, no, I'm it thinking does. pasta sauce you don't put pasta sauce in the fridge if you don't use it all who doesn't use it at all anyways <laughs> this is a <laughs> tangent that we've really gone on but what does it mean you got the sauce means like because it sticks around oh it's not going anywhere so when you say i got the sauce you mean like it means i stick around or do people use it in that context look at bailey's like <laughs> what's going on do, i'm just confused how you say either of these things in a sentence quote it both of them those sound weird coming out of my mouth well, you went there. You brought it Chance up. Chance the Rapper song, I Got the Juice. Yeah. You know it. Yeah. Okay, so okay, I Okay, but mean, use now I got the sauce. You just did. No, you, in a <laughs> sentence. <laughs> you just did. No, she wants you to use it in, like, context. So, like, when would you say to someone you got the sauce or I got the sauce? You wouldn't. I want to say, like, up. maybe, like, if you got, like, a new car, if you've been, like, balling for years or something, and like... you got the sauce? Yeah. But then it's not a new car if you've been balling for years. Well, if you just bought it, it's new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go- I'm Googling you got the sauce. Anyways, switching topics here. <laughs> Let's hear about how you guys met. Jordan, I've kind of told a little bit of this story on the podcast already, so you tell it. Jackie and I met. It was a... Uh, it was a warm summer's evening. Look at the picture, why don't you? I was at um, a friend from hockey's birthday party. How old are both of my you? My best friend. My best friend's hockey party. It was probably like like 10. You said grade 4. I don't know how old that. You're 8 when you're in grade 4. Okay, so somewhere around there. 8 to 10. And she was the only girl at the party. Just a little cute girl. <laughs> Big ears. So really, big you had ears. no other option. No, I'm kidding. Said, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's true. But he just said I have big ears, and I did. You guys. I so used what? To, I used. Is to there have, a problem? I don't know if I've told this on the podcast, but I used to have big ears, and in, in um, high school, just grew into them. Yeah, in high school, people would call me Dumbo. No, that's harsh. Oh, it's okay. I laugh. It's funny. I grew into them. They're still kind of yeah. big, but they don't stick out as much. But you said you remember what I was wearing, right? Yeah, it was like a like a black dress and like. <laughs> I wanted, not exactly just like a gray t-shirt underneath but i don't know like well i was so fashion forward dress <laughs> on a t-shirt back then you were cute Aww. even at that young age i was like whoa this girl <laughs> she's cute this only girl in the room hey. <laughs> no one else no it, it could have been just one other <laughs> random girl there and i probably could have been like whatever <laughs> no but i remember i was at this birthday party and the all i was the only girl and we were playing truth or dare Hey, of we course, also did a lot of sports and stuff. Yeah, of course, when it was my turn, they dared... I don't know who it was, but I remember. Cause Not I was me. traumatized. Someone dared me to take my shirt off and run around the street. <laughs> they were going to say dared you to kiss someone. No. <laughs> take take shirt my shirt off. I had no boobs at eight. Like, <laughs> flat. I have no boobs now. I was so going to say at imagine, eight. <laughs> you can imagine at eight, I absolutely had nothing. <laughs> and I was like, no. And I'm traumatized from that day. That's all I remember. But And then we met again when we were 18. Unfortunately, after a life in color rave and he's like wow she still has no boobs (laughs) 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 honestly i don't even know why he wanted to talk to me that night because bailey's still laughing at (laughs) her after life in color i was drowned in paint and i looked disgusting and he still wanted to talk to me and he was like i remember you so were you still the only girl in the room no okay (laughs) there's lots of other girls there yeah it was like 
we pulled up. I was with Lucas and Tristan. Which is his best friend. And I was so drunk. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I just walked in. And everybody was in the house. And then I saw Jackie. And her hair was all soaked in paint <laughs> and everything. And Ew. I just immediately started hitting on her. And there was somebody in the shower. What a weird ups- turn on. <laughs> <laughs> There's people in the shower upstairs. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Sh- forgot about this. And, and, and one of the things I said was... We could go shower together, you know, <laughs> save some water. Really stole my heart. <laughs> really wow, stole my heart. what an opening line, That's Jordan. Disgusting. But I got her number, and I was so drunk. Like, yeah, and you always make fun of me now whenever I'm that drunk. Yeah, like, but you I, must think, seriously I think what got me was when he said he remembered me from grade four. It was not the shower thing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, though. There was oh, some, the, some of the guys that were at the house, too. They were all like no jordan like you don't want to you don't want to hit on her you don't want to like get into her like you just you you don't and then i'll just be like why i told you this Um, what was the reputation there's no ulterior motives i feel like me not you oh they wanted to hit on her something like that oh really yeah i mean i'm sure it was like some of my old guy friends and they they just thought that i don't know i just they were yours yeah i would never hook up with them and a lot of our girlfriends would and so they were just very territorial and weird i'm not friends with them anymore <laughs> i remember when i texted you the next morning you didn't answer for like two or three hours and i was chilling with lucas in his basement and i was like man i don't even know if this is her number like what's going on and then you finally responded you were just at field hockey oh made my day that's cute i didn't know that I start like punching the air <laughs> so happy <laughs> that's cute um okay and then let's talk about the first time we met yeah you because i was really drunk you were really drunk it was i'd like to hear about this no. wait are you talking about you two no oh, oh me and you. you oh okay <laughs> <laughs> this is wasn't one of the best days of your life what are you talking about <laughs> the you, first time you we, don't remember what i was wearing the first time we met <laughs> the disrespect <laughs> Jared. somebody give me like just one yeah throw you, it at yeah me. i know we do you this really a lot with Jordan. he doesn't remember oh, so we give fine. him like one little point so you picked us up from oh yeah that thing <laughs> that weird thing that weird. what was it called it was plays like christmas party yeah. i guess with a bunch of our clients what was it called again yeah but what, Baccio what? Rosso. oh so fun it was really really cool yeah, it was like was a cirque du soleil burlesque comedy show yeah okay. dinner no it was so fun i wanted to take you but then so jordan picked us up because we didn't have a ride home because we were drinking yeah. and we wanted to be responsible and it was downtown which is like 45 minutes from us and I'm, me and bailey were the last ones there and all the bottles that you had bought for the table of wine hadn't been drank so we crushed <laughs> the rest I forgot of them. about that yeah so we were definitely the most <laughs> yeah. drunk and jordan picked us up and bailey just went zero and you've been this is like in november so you've been working for me for a few months at this point i'd never actually met jordan Mm -hmm. and then i was just like this will be fun let's just play like 20 questions and i just start grilling them grilling and it's a good way to get to know somebody the infamous question that was asked this is how our like would you rather question was born was because (laughs) i asked jordan this question when i first met him and it was would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or join them once and without hesitation jordan said join one time (laughs) one time Ew. Rest of your life for one time. And from that moment on, I questioned Jackie's judgment forever. I did. I <laughs> questioned my judgment too. I was like, you're nasty. You know how much wasted time that is? Every day. I Do you know watch. how traumatizing that After, would be? Yeah. Joining once. Yeah. What if I liked it? D- what? <laughs> Again, questioning your judgment, Jackie. He's totally screwing with us right now. <laughs> but that's just Jordan. Uh, you know, a few other people we've asked have said join in one it's time. It's a guy thing. So it's, yes, there's never been a girl who said join no. in one time. So, Jordan, you're not alone, but like still nasty, gross. Ew. I want to kind of tell your mom, but then I don't want to ever have that conversation with her. I'll <laughs> Maybe tell she'll, her. you know what, she'll probably listen to this episode and she'll know. Tracy, that is disgusting. I, she's, I think she'll roast <laughs> you more than we roasted you about it. She probably wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me why i don't know what a, <laughs> what a fun conversation to have with your mom so yeah like i would join once in bed with you and no oh my god <laughs> and dad <Ew>. <laughs> oh god tracy's pretty she's pretty open oh yeah but anyways okay. i mean like not in that way 
<laughs> but oh we're gonna talk about how yeah bailey's wedding we kind of touched on this briefly jordan this got, is the first time i ever saw jordan drunk jordan, jordan got shwasted shwasted and got cut off from it was bailey's so fucking funny. bar at her wedding which was an open bar it was unnecessary cut off from an open bar like what? jordan would run over to the bar get what were you drinking corona everything yeah, i think you were drinking was mostly tw- corona though no it was towards the end i was mainly doing like rum and coke okay well at this point i saw you drinking corona oh, yeah. and you would i don't know what your party trick was but oh, you would i was would, shotgunning but it but was a glass, glass bottle yeah. yeah so explain what you're doing you just throw a straw in there and then like leave a little hanging out so that the air flows faster and then you can chug it so he would literally you guys he would be at the bar like <laughs> So to paint a picture, there's like a dance floor, this, these stairs that come up, and then the bar is off to the right. So most people go and get their drink. They go off to the right to the bar and then go back to the dance floor and enjoy their drink. Jordan would go up to the bar, get a Corona, duck down, not move from the bar, duck down <laughs> so that he's like below the level of the bar, shotgun the Corona, pop back up and get another drink. You're a psychopath. <laughs> I didn't even puke or anything i remember that but at one point you wanted to do shots and i think i had instigated the idea but we went up there and the bartender was like no we can't do shots and i was like okay no problem this guy wouldn't let it go never and this is when i think she got a little irritated and then cut you off (laughs) because jordan was like really come on seriously just do it like come on it's just like we'll tell me why jordan tried to i think jordan at one point was like i'm the bride's like family member (laughs) no no because i did that in front of him he probably saw that (laughs) and then the bartender was like why don't you take a walk i'm cutting you off do a lap have some water and And she was pissed and i was like oh was she actually pissed yeah was Was it the white girl yeah i don't think she was mad i think she was like annoyed she just was like get out of my face yeah, she's like stop asking me for shots i'm not gonna give them to you should have just given me a shot <laughs> you probably wouldn't have been pissed so off then jordan was like okay that's fine can i just get vodka on ice <laughs> and smiles and she's like no uh, she's and like maybe you need some water on ice <laughs> that night we went and we were leaving and okay no but before that oh god so when the party ended like the lights come up they start taking everything out jordan just was like why is it ending why is it ending? It's like it's not over one more i turned over at one point and i see him climbing up on like the marshmallow oh, snack yeah. bar and i was like get down. yeah you were you got on top of the marshmallow bar which has flames coming out from it to roast your marshmallows <laughs> built into the table it's open flame and he gets on top and starts doing a, like one more song <laughs> And Bailey's like, Jordan, get down. Life of the party. Yeah. I think I just good. looked at him and I was like, I, he is But then possibly is. my favorite part. <laughs> so we're leaving. And Bailey's mom, Joanne, had given you florals. Like, yes. Uh, centerpiece florals yeah. to take home. And then... Which were huge. Like massive. Huge. Huge. Yeah. And he, she kept trying to give you another one, I yeah. think. Yeah. You tell it, you're better. I was like, I don't... We already had two, so we we're both carrying one. They're big. I'm like, I don't need any more. And Jordan's like, come on come on let's take more and i'm like okay so joanne's like go over there they're over there so jordan walks over to this area grabs a planter full of flowers and is carrying them out i'm like yo dude those aren't those aren't real flowers like, <laughs> those are the hotels those are the swanee set resorts fake flowers by the elevator for decoration he's like no they're not i'm like yes they are and he's like and at this he looked at me and i'm just like take them I, I knew he was so far gone yeah. that i wasn't gonna be able to argue and like explain properly so i was just like just go so now we have <laughs> in our bedroom swanee sets resorts fake floral arrangement stop i thought it was an orchid like a real orchid yeah I knew. it looks there, real there was no arguing with you and telling you that it, wasn't. it was so funny mm-hmm. but i was like you guys just need to go now if you're gonna yeah. take it and we it was like out. right out of the front lobby too I don't right, know what out, right out <laughs> right out of the lobby no one was paying attention i was yeah, just no. like okay whatever it is it could good memory don't. i told bailey had no idea because she'd left at that point i told her she found it so funny i honestly didn't want to tell her because i was scared they were gonna like find out and then f- and find her She's, yeah like what's this charge someone stole a plant like, right i don't know that's why i kept it quiet at first i was like don't tell her wait for a few months until the payment oh goes through God, or something. so funny uh okay wait, well, i'm gonna ask this one. Oh, okay what's the worst thing about dating me oh you skipped a question i know oh okay say the best for last <laughs> the worst thing yeah like what do you mean 
You can be honest. It's okay. Well, Just roast her right now. I don't want to roast you. <laughs> Your list of grievances. I also share want them. to stay in the good books. Maybe we have the same list of grievances. No, I'm there's kidding. like I know, <laughs> I know there's one thing that really bugs you about me. Hey, you guys bought you, the same dollar store salt as me. Yeah, <laughs> you influenced me. <laughs> dollar store salt is the best. You guys, same same taste. Well, I mean, what, why would the, the salt taste different? It's just it's, salt. Yeah, I don't know. But the ones at the store, like, they like triple bucks. the price. Yeah. And then those ones are $2. It's a life hack. Himalayan salt. Okay, well, honestly, worst thing about dating you, <laughs> it's not even that has to do with dating you. I feel like even uh, if you just had a roommate, like, it would be the same. You're just messy. Yeah. Like, I'm I come messy. home and one of my <laughs> biggest pet peeves that she never does, because it's so easy, is, like, crumbs on the counter. <laughs> All you literally have to do is just sweep it off the counter, like right down by the oven, and then it can just get vacuumed <laughs> up later. I thought you meant like down behind it so that you never have to deal with no, it. No, yeah, just right down the side, and then I'll get it later. He but prefers oh, me man. to, s- instead of clean the counter, and in a, in a few days, clean the counter and get all the crumbs off, put them down the sink, he prefers me to sweep them to the crack beside just the real oven. quick. And so that they sit there for like a month. I don't understand <laughs> the theory, but that's fine. I am very messy. And you know what? When me and Jordan moved in together, I was like, you know how I am. I am who I am. And I'm not going <laughs> to I didn't change. know it would be like this. Yeah, you no, did. Joking. You knew. When you would <laughs> no, come joking. over to my house, you knew it. My old house, my room would always be messy. Jordan would clean it for me when I was at work. Clean the whole house a couple times. Yeah. Not Caitlin's room, but. Yeah. No. And he'd clean my room. But I, I don't know. I think when I moved out, it was like I had been on a strict Baby, I don't even know what the correct word is. My mom would make me clean a room every week, once a week, and my bedroom had to be clean all the time. So when I moved out, I was like, this is why I'm moving out to live my life and do what I want. <laughs> what happened, Sue? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think she over put it in my mind that I need you to rebel that I just went the opposite way completely. Yeah, I was never really forced to clean. I yeah. just kinda like it tidy. Your but mom- y- yeah, always clean. I like that. Here's a, my problem is like, I like things to be clean and put away. And like, I'm definitely OCD. Like, I really like tidiness, but I just get so busy that the last thing I want to do is clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like, I'm running out the door and I didn't know what I was going to wear. So mm-hmm. my closet's on my floor. Yeah, me too. I changed like 10 times before I find an outfit that I yeah. like. That's my biggest issue. It's clothes. Yeah. Other than that, I'm pretty good. We like should take a messiness? picture of that room. Yeah. I'm sure. Which one? The back room, the one that you text me a photo of. Yeah, do you know I I purposely closed that back room door so you can't peek in it. <laughs> it's wide open. <laughs> but Jordan's gotten messier since he's been. Yeah, me. you've like desensitized me. I just like <laughs> I'll make a mess and I'll just be like, yeah, so whatever. It's, now it's just, really hard because it's two of us. Well, I just like I kind of gave I when we first moved in together, I was like I was pretty on top of stuff. Like whenever I would get home from work, I would clean up something. <laughs> like if it was dishes or I don't even know. Now it's just like oh i'm gonna let them pile up i would love some tips from our friendships on how to be more clean everyone just says clean as you go but that's not really logical it's really not look at harv harvey's it's cuddling just, up to yeah. a little bean <laughs> hold on your mic cut out Me? yeah just say that i'm so messy friendships part again I'm really messy no ears not working hello yeah try again hello there we go i'm really messy friendships <laughs> i am who i am though okay on the flip side what's your favorite thing about dating me i made up these questions by the way <laughs> <laughs> favorite thing yeah um <laughs> just getting to be with you honestly yeah you're the best you're my best friend <laughs> do you need me to leave I no feel awkward <laughs> <laughs> that's it i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> i'm totally kidding <coughs> well i mean the best thing yeah i just like being with you it's yeah. like the best thing i can't say because our parents are gonna listen <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> he's like yeah <laughs> no you make everything so fun like whenever we go out and do something for example pumpkin patch something we do every year i love it yeah, me Things too. like that. Oh, are you going to take Harv this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you can bring dogs. Okay, he's trying to eat my he's mic. He's literally off. trying to bite <laughs> the mic. What's your, wait, 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 wait. What's your favorite thing about Yeah, we got to put the me? tables here. Yeah, a little bit. Um, okay. No. Oh, her, her <laughs> phone voice is coming out. Okay. <laughs> um, 
my least favorite thing about you, <laughs> the easiest <laughs> apparently, Holy. is, Thanks, is uh-huh. how, the list goes on and on. <laughs> no, it's how forgetful you are. It really drives me nuts. Just need a couple of reminders. A lot like, of reminders. <laughs> just a, a little. Lot, yeah, you're just going to give me a piece and then no, it all comes together. A, if we have a dinner, say, like a week ahead, I'll have to be like, every day leading up to it, remember? You don't dinner, have to. Yes, I do. But it's okay. I've just kind of accepted that you are who you are. My favorite thing about dating you is um, you just make me feel... <laughs> <laughs> I never talk about my feelings. This is really weird. This is good. This is healthy. Um, I think that Durden is really good at making me feel confident and beautiful no matter what. If I'm, Do you want me to not look at you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but even if I literally look disgusting and my hair hasn't been washed in three days and I have eyeliner dripping down my face and my, I don't know, I'm wearing my mom's pajamas and my dad's shirt. He's like, you're so beautiful. And I'm like, you're lying, but thank you. You're so I'm cute. never lying. That's nice. Okay, let's That's move on cute. now. <laughs> um, okay, I have a question. Who would be your celebrity hall pass? Me. Who? who? Both. It's a question for both I feel like you. I know yours. On the count of three, let's say it. Like, do you know what that means? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's not say it on the count of three because it's not going to translate well audio I just want to know if I know. Just for the record, this is Oh, you're going to say his at the same time. For the yeah, oh, that's fine. Go for it. Okay. I mean, I feel like you could guess, but I mean, I don't even know. You don't know yours. I don't find other girls attractive. Yeah, Jordan says this, but we all know it's a lie. Yeah, I don't even follow girls on Instagram. Come on, no, no, see that. Fine, but I I find other guys attractive. Whoa, pause. (laughs) Hold up. You know that. When we watch Game of Thrones, sometimes I'm like, Jon Snow, he's so. No, you don't. Yes, you do. And then he's so short, though. He just gives me a look, and I'm like, what? Okay, so Jackie's is John Snow. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know who yours is. The Weeknd. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Ew. I don't think it's his looks. It's more of just like his his music. Do you think he's going to sing to you while he's doing yeah, it? Yeah, what the hell? I don't know. <laughs> Probably want to do coke off you or something. <laughs> Probably. No, anyways, this is just like, nah. Who's your hall pastor? You See, can guess. I think it's Rihanna. I mean, like, sure. Also, Rihanna. Rihanna. Or... <laughs> jackie <Jackie-ism. laughs> Or, like, Kylie Jenner. Speak English much? <laughs> no, not Kylie. Ew. Okay, who is it? Since you said, like, Kardashians. Ken- probably, like, mm, Courtney. What? Give okay, yeah, she's really likes, He wants some milk. I get it. Okay. She's really beautiful, so I understand that. She's super hot. It's crazy that she's in her 40s. I know. I hope like I look wild. like her when I'm 40. I hope I have that much money to look like that when I'm 40. <laughs> But she has the least amount of work. Yeah, uh, I think. I think it's just not noticeable. You like, just don't know it's work. It's not like, yeah. Yeah, she gets Botox and stuff, but she eats pretty good. And like, she's been organic her whole life. Yeah, and, like, but she's not going to put everything she's had done out there. But yeah. I mean, when you look at her, she looks the most natural. For sure. Yeah. Besides Kendall, I guess. Um. Okay, we're going to end with some who's more likely to. Are you going to so, host this? No, Harvey is. Okay. <laughs> this is actually a who's more likely to about me and Jordan. <laughs> so you're hosting. That's so cute. <laughs> um, okay, I ma- I pulled some of these from Caitlin Bristow's podcast because she played this game with Jason. Oh, wow. So we're just copycats. No, I made some of them up. There's a few. <laughs> just in case I'm sorry, Caitlin. I give her one thing to do and we plagiarize your podcast. I just didn't want it to come out and then the people would be like, wow, that sounds a lot like Caitlin's. <laughs> Obviously, I stole some. Okay. Who's more likely to burn dinner? You. Yeah, I'll take that. Jordan can't cook at all. I almost there was a fire on the stove one time. <laughs> but Gosh. it was it was brief and I got rid of it. <laughs> a brief fire. It was very dangerous. I mean, at he, least you're cooking on the stove and not on the floor. So we have a Tassimo. He or no, sorry, our blender he's left on the middle oh, of our oven. Story. Well, he's cooked, and we have a above element. I don't know what that what's called. The like fan. an actual Just, lemon. Le- what? An actual lem- <laughs> element. It's not one of those flat ones. You, you know? mean it's what? Yeah. What is it? Called? Oh, like the coil element. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sit up. Yes. So he put it's the not glass, the blender in the middle, and cooked with it, and it melted, like warped the side of our blender. And then he did this to a water bottle I had, and he did it to one other thing I have. Do you not learn a lesson? No. And he, <laughs> I have to learn things the hard he'll way. He'll turn the burner on and leave. So the- when the house burns down, you'll yeah, there's something like that. Jeez. 
He turns the burner on, leaves the room, comes back. There's a fire on the stove. It was like a quick like bathroom. It wasn't like. Did a, you have to get the fire extinguisher? Or how did no, you- it was just a little splash of water. Ah. So Probably dangerous. could have been a bad idea doing so that. But <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to steal the blankets at night? You. Did really? you just do these all to roast? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really, me? Yeah. Or maybe it's tied. I don't know. Jordan says I always do, but then every time I get home from work, he's already sleeping, and the blankets are all on his side, and I have to yank them. I don't know. I think we're pretty good. Normally, um, I do wake up sometimes with no blankets, but sometimes. But that's like, your fault because you take them off because you get too hot. No. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say that like we sleep with two blankets, and a lot of the time I'll wake up with one, and then you'll be in the other. <laughs> So there's no stealing, it's sharing. Sorry, I'm laughing at someone else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it you me? know what I'm laughing is at. It me? No, 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 no. I took a question out because it's part of Jackie's psycho yeah, moment. Yeah, I don't want to share it now. Oh, actually, no, we can't because this is coming out after. Okay, cool. I just realized that. So I made this last week, you guys. This, this <laughs> before more something like happened. Game. And if you listen to this week's Wednesday episode, yeah. it was Jackie's psycho moment. So you'll hear. So it was who's so, more likely to get in a car accident. <laughs> We have to give that to Jackie after yesterday. <laughs> I got in a car accident so yesterday. Easy. I'm yeah. not going to go into detail because you can go listen to our other episode and hear the deets. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to get too drunk? I guess me. <laughs> but I, it's not that like... I like think I w- though you, I, you just are a different kind of drunk. She hides it so well. Yeah, I really am a tank. Uh, yeah, no, you're not. Yes, you're I not. Am. You really aren't. Yes, I am. I'm just trying to turn up like... No, like I Blackout. think you get, I think you get pretty drunk, yeah. but you just don't have that, like, innate where somebody can look at you and you're just like visibly drunk. Yeah, I don't get drunk, guys. I don't get yeah wobbly. I hold myself well together. Like maybe if you talk, kind of concerning. Me. Yeah, it is concerning a lot of the times when I black out. My friends were like, "You seem to fine." I know. I'm like, shit. <laughs> like I always, whenever I'm drinking with you, I'm like, "Okay, tell me where you're at." <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like on a scale of one to ten, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I lie still. I don't know why. I know it's the pressure in me. I want other people to still drink with me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to get too impatient? Depends on the scenario. Just in general. Um, Jackie can be a little bit of a hothead. <laughs> like. <laughs> Are you thinking of a specific situation? And today when I was waking up from my nap. <laughs> I, I don't like waiting. No, I don't. I'm very impatient. So when people, when I'm picking someone up, I'm like here and they make me wait. It drives me nuts. Okay. It's fine if they're like coming out of the house. Like you never make me wait. You're always like coming and you're leaving right away. Nice cover. But people <laughs> like Jordan's pretty good. But when I pick him up when he's drunk somewhere, it takes hell a long time. Mm. In it. And then I'm already annoyed when he gets Yeah, but that's him. to be expected. Come on now. <laughs> Who's more likely to be romantic? me yeah i'm not really i don't you're really not romantic most romantic thing you've ever done jordan me um um i can be romantic i'm hurt a little bit not really <laughs> yes i can no i think my my romance is more in like surprises so you like actually yeah the when you hung like the yeah. photos from the ceiling when jordan it was jordan's birthday two years ago and i got balloons and they like hung photos from each balloon and had them scattered That's around you and it had like candles and we had a charcuterie board when he came home from work yeah i didn't expect it at all it was so good yeah I had like a kind of shitty day at work yeah and it was you like mean, rainy he wants to work on their birthday yeah but i don't know what the most romantic thing jordan's done i don't know i would say like uh recently maybe just like that time when we went to the beach with like oh, yeah. charcuterie that, that was wasn't cute. that was okay and whose idea was that bailey helped <laughs> <laughs> thank you bailey no problem <laughs> he, yeah he took me with like a charcuterie type thing with wine we watched the sunset but he's also done romantic things where he'll have like rose petals around the house when i come home and stuff that's like cute. that so he also sends you like cute texts and stuff oh yeah so we, i feel like that's romance we so. text each other every morning like this long message about me. how much we love each other i do that yeah too. i know i know but it's always it's me. quite mushy and everyone who sees it, it's like ew i'm like <laughs> but whatever fuck you guys sometimes you it's other. a little repetitive but i like it yeah if i know text I me when, if you don't text me when we're in fighting <laughs> <laughs> um who's more likely to forget your anniversary I'm going to go with you. I don't even know it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I know it. I forget every year. What is it? It's coming up. November 9th. Don't tell her. Let's see if she it's remembers. Oh. I always think it's the 11th. You're not even here for it. 
You're spending it with me. Bom, bom, bom. <gasps> Jordan, we wait for our anniversary. <laughs> He's just finding this out now. I'm so sorry. I'm com- don't we come back on the night? No, the 10th. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, for- Harvey and I can do something. This is so true. I'm more likely to forget our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Sorry. <laughs> Shit. I'm, an, I'm a jerk. <laughs> Who's more likely to not control their laugh in serious moments? Me. You. <laughs> yeah 1000 percent. jordan laughs at very very inappropriate things like if a kid falls and hurts himself badly. that's <laughs> completely appropriate jordan thank laughs. you no if he's like i don't know you're very in a, your your humor is dark and twisted it's not even like somebody could just say something and then it'll like trigger something in my head and i'll just think of something funny so it's it's not like honestly what, i relate to that yeah, yeah i think you guys have the same type of humor. you're very you have like a dirty humor jordan's like humor's a little sick and twisted <laughs> like i could be at work talking to rick in his office about like being in trouble or getting a raise or something and then like i'll think of something in my head and then burst like, out laughing not even burst out laughing but like i can just feel like a slight smile <laughs> coming i'm like fuck stop <laughs> um who's more likely to eat a whole bag of chips in one sitting ah no both right actually i kind of stopped because whenever i do it like the next morning i'll have um like acid reflex and it's probably the type of chips you're eating it's always arebas <laughs> always yeah, he has a very certain specific arebas are shit okay first of all you don't come to my house talk about arebas <laughs> like that <laughs> um i can eat a whole bag of chips like that like they're so good i love chips yeah you actually tell me not to get chips because she oh, said then you're eat. like yeah, yeah just tempted i can't help it who's more likely to not spend their money to not spend it equal e- what you I think me to not spend it i think it. i uh-huh. always have more savings than you <laughs> yeah okay jordan likes to spend all his money on skip the dishes and fast food no i stopped a lot i don't even know where all my money goes it's just skip the dishes no i don't even you guys when was the last time we had i'll skip? never i'll never forget the day that jackie told me you guys went and spent like 300 dollars. no i think only you went and spent like 200 dollars on groceries and you came home that night and ordered skip the dishes yeah you did you're sick <laughs> what's wrong with that 300 dollars worth of groceries <laughs> to come home and just skip the dishes some more food and spend more money what are you skipping arebas like what? no <laughs> like, probably like a whole meal Bailey, i'm telling you right now he could list off all the skip the dishes p- things o- available in our area you could well, it's all indian when i'll be looking at it sushi. okay let's see how many let's make this challenge let's see how many you can do come on <laughs> like no it's, it's just like basic stuff there's like papa john's and <laughs> wendy's and um a and w kfc there's sushi 64 <laughs> sushi wara uh taste of himalayas <laughs> spice 72 um you have a problem no yeah i can see it in my head yeah, like scrolling on a phone screen <laughs> because i'll try and order beside him and i'll be looking at my phone he can't see it and he's i'll be like this sushi place he's like well is it is it sushi 64 sushi war or sushi nordell <laughs> i'm like oh my god it makes a big difference <laughs> oh man oh um, my god that last one who's more likely to spend money on food <laughs> i think you just take the cake on that one yeah give me that <laughs> who's more likely to be scared in the middle of the night jackie yeah jackie takes away all my fears at night like sleeping with somebody it's not scary see it's so comfy i make him i've i think i've shared this i'll make him get a drink for me or Or i would go with you or go with me i get scared and we live on one floor like imagine if i had a downstairs or a basement oh my god i don't think i can ever have a basement i will never be able to go in it have you seen have you seen paranormal activity yeah scary <laughs> this means can happen <laughs> i got scared we we didn't even finish watching the stranger things season that just came out because me and jordan are too scared it was kind of you're the one who said vampire diaries was scary it is so. scary it makes my heart beat fast <laughs> gives me a little anxiety <laughs> you know what it's good for your cardiac health <laughs> <laughs> anyways is there anything else that you want to share with the friendships me no no i don't think so i'm sure i'll be back again hopefully i have more to say what is your one piece of advice for couples i was gonna say who want to make it past the age of 22 (laughs) i feel like talking is very good you have to be able to communicate and like especially if you're mad being able to communicate 
instead of just kind of shitting on or like just being angry with the other person if you can actually communicate and just try and talk things out it's very helpful jackie and i have worked on that we're still working on it and Who's I'm more passive aggressive? Me, hundred <laughs> percent. Jordan's pretty level headed when we argue, and he honestly doesn't get mad. We don't fight often, and if we do, it's because I'm mad and Jordan's done something. Yeah, I don't think I've ever know. started a fight. I've never started a fight. Eh. Never have I ever came okay. at you like, <laughs> "Hey, you are right now." <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think the the important thing is when you're dating someone is to never. And I've read this somewhere. I've seen it somewhere to never stop dating the person you're dating. Jordan and I have been together for th- over th- three years now, unofficially, officially. And we still go on dates. We still make time for each other. And and Jordan still opens the car door for me when we go on dates and tells me I'm beautiful when I'm <laughs> literally, I know I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm getting awkward again. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable talking about my feelings. <laughs> Keep going. This is no, healthy. Jordan knows this about me, right? What? Like, if you ever ask me, and you're like, tell me, like, a few things you love about me. I can't do it. Even though I love lots. Yeah, <laughs> Am I, I red right now? Because this. I never get red. And Are I you like sweating? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> do you back sweat? <laughs> <laughs> Swass. Ew. I don't. I'm kidding. Do you Ew. love her even when she has swass? I yeah. hope she never has swass. <laughs> I did at Bailey's wedding. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, I guess everybody so, hey. saw that she had and you swass. You still love me. <laughs> yeah, but everybody had it, so I mean, it's different. Mine stained the whole night, but you still, <laughs> you still love me and walked behind me when I needed to go to the bathroom. So thank you, true love. Right, it's a there. good boyfriend. <laughs> okay, friendships. Well, thank you for listening to this week's bonus episode. Um, if you want to hear somebody from our life that we've talked about on an upcoming one, let us know and go join the Facebook group. And leave us a review, five stars, baby. (laughs) And on that note, (laughs) sayonara. (laughs) 